All right, welcome to my first dev vlog. I'm starting this dev vlog series because I recently decided to try my hand at some freelancing and web development. These videos will help you better understand how I like to build websites and web applications. If you're interested in what I do and want to work with me, you can email me at steven at plumduffer.dev. You can also connect with me on Twitter and LinkedIn at these handles. I will have other forms of contact in the future and I'll link them in the video description below. And if you're wondering about the name Plum Duffer, well it's just a fun little name I came up with uh, to use as an online alias. I chose it because I really like to eat Plum Duff. And if you don't know what Plum Duff is, then I'll, I'll link it in the description below. <laughs> Payload CMS is a headless content management system. Now you may not be familiar with the term headless, but essentially all it means is that the content management system only cares about managing and authoring the content, and it leaves the rendering of that content to another technology. There are other benefits to using headless CMS, and developers love to talk about it, but essentially at the end of the day, developers like to push headless CMS because it, it gives them the ability to use more modern uh, frameworks and libraries for rendering. I'm going to link a video in the description below that talks about the biggest lies of headless CMS. You might find that interesting. And it's a really good thing that we can use these more modern rendering libraries because it helps us create more reusable templates and it helps us prototype quicker as developers. More traditional CMSs like Craft CMS, they do offer a way to do headless, but Craft CMS is not built with headless first in mind, so there's usually a few gotchas. There are more benefits to Payload CMS. First off, it's open source and free, so there's no usage fees. You own your content management system and you have complete freedom to set it up however you like on your own server. Another benefit is that payload is code first, so developers can jump in and they can write up their schemas all with code. They don't have to click around a dashboard contrary to something like Craft CMS. Out of the box, Payload provides a lot of powerful features that can be customized for any type of experience. It really does go beyond being just a content management system at this point. You can build full web app experiences with it. If you're interested in learning more about Payload, I'll link their website, Twitter, and Discord in the description below. The team behind Payload, and the community for that matter, are all really passionate, kind, and fun. One of Payload's powerful features is the access control, and to demonstrate this, I have a password page. Inside the CMS, I have a role for a viewer called Viewer Only, and this just means they do not have access to this content management system dashboard, but if I give out the password of this user to somebody, they can pop it into this box and unlock the website. One of the reasons I did this is because this website is currently under development so it's not ready for the public, but I would like to be able to show people uh, what I'm working on at certain points. So it's a really good way to demonstrate um, Payload's access control and it could be changed and extended in the future to lock off only certain types of pages. It really is simple to set up as well. I have a users collection where the access create, update and delete is set to only admins can create, update and delete. Accessing the administration dashboard is restricted to a viewer and to read a user or to get a user's information you either have to be an admin or you have to be logged in as that user that you're trying to access. So it's really easy to um, extend payload like this. So thanks for watching this first dev vlog episode of mine. I'll have more of these in the future, but in the meantime, take it easy.